All right, welcome to my Fortnite Battle Royale Week 4 Smash and Grab Challenge Guide. So in this video, I'll be covering the collect 100 of each material within 60 seconds after landing from the Battle Bus Challenge. Now this sounds way, way harder than it really is. 100 of each mat type is a little intimidating, but the number one thing you have to do is play Team Rumble. You get a bonus for playing Team Rumble in the material grabbing department. And the first location I wanted to show you is Lonely Lodge. So let me show you just how easy this is. So the timer comes on as soon as your feet touch the ground. I mean, obviously it's invisible. So we've got 60 seconds to pound 100 rock, 100 wood, and 100 steel. So find anything you want to destroy that's wooden first. Shouldn't be too difficult. See, I already got 100. Then we can come up to these big RVs or cars. It shouldn't take too many hits. That gave me 50 in and of itself. Bang this one a little bit. That's 90. We're almost there, but there's still rock here, so I'm going to destroy that as well. You should be able to do this within 60 seconds. So there's the brick. Now we just need one more thing, maybe one hit even, on this. Now, I put a timer on the screen, so you'll see how long it took me, but obviously it was under 60 seconds. I won't know until I edit this video how long it took, but this is the first spot. Now, of course, if people land here with you, you're going to have a heck of a time, especially if they're trying to ruin your day and grab a weapon first and take you out. Now, I even went the slow route and destroyed stupid things like part of this house for the wood instead of the actual trees, which likely give you much, much more. So again, this is the first location you can try, Lonely Lodge. A bit of everything here for your destroying pleasure. All right, so this next location is even faster than the Lonely Lodge one that I showed, and it's right next to the pirate ship here in Lazy Lagoon. So there's a bunch of trees right here, and if you make your way in between them all, so normally the reboot van is right here. If you come up here in between all these trees, you'll see a circle of rocks. Remember the timer comes on as soon as your feet hit the ground. Come over to these rocks. You should only have to break one. One rock to get over 100 brick. As you can see there, over 100 already, you can destroy a few shrubs on top. Come over this way, we'll get the wood in just a second. We wanna get the steel first. So we're already at 100 brick. We're coming over here, we're gonna break this RV and it should give us about 70 steel. And remember, this is in Team Rumble. Now we can break a tree as well. Let's see what that gives us, that should almost give us 100. That's 87, break this umbrella for three more steel. Come right over here, there's one more RV. We'll see. Now again, I'm going to have a timer on the screen to see how long this actually took me, but right now I can't see it because I'm going to edit that in. So we already have 100 of those two. We're just going to break this, and it should put us over 100 steel, even if you don't hit the circle. Boom. Done. That should have been well under 60 seconds. Again, the exact location is just left of Lazy Lagoon. Up here are the brick. Hit the RV, hit the RV, and then smash a few trees along your way, and boom. Super Cooper easy. All right, so the next spot is over here in Snobby Shores. So I'm gonna put the countdown on. As soon as my feet touch the ground, we're gonna see if we can get 100 of each material at this location. So these little chunks right here, look how much they give, especially here in Team Rumble. So it shouldn't take long to get the brick. In fact, we are almost there. Well, this one gives wood for some reason, that was weird. Okay, so over 100 right there, and there should be plenty of trees and shrubs to get over a hundred wood as well. So, wow, we're way past that. So now we just need to find some steel. So obviously there's a, now there's a few overturned cars here. This should be good enough to get a hundred. Can you destroy the basketball hoop? Basketball hoop, not destroyable, that's weird. Should only take just a few. We're at 80 and here's a lamp post. That's 89, and then one more right here. Yes, yeah, so this spot works quite nicely. In fact, I think these last two that I showed were way better than the Lonely Lodge one, but all three so far will work. And again, the exact location is right here in Northern Snobby Shores, the farthest house that actually got stepped on by the monster. All right, so the last two spots I'm gonna show you are my least favorite, but they still get the job done. Now they are both located in Pleasant Park, which unfortunately is usually a hot drop. However, in Team Rumble, you never know. People could land anywhere. So you can go to either of these locations. I'm gonna put the clock on as soon as my feet hit the ground, but only for one location, because I'm already gonna be on the ground when I show you the second. So both houses that have the underground bunkers. So this guy right now, 
And this guy right... Or is it this one? I can't remember. We're going to investigate in a minute. But this one first. This one for sure has the underground bunker. So again, we have 60 seconds right now. So come in here. You can break some of this if you want. But come down the stairs. And start breaking some of the wood. So that gives 27. This stuff under here gives some decent brick. But it's right behind here. So you can break this for some brick. And then in here is what we want. So break these crates. These money bags give great steel. Let's see what that puts us at. That's over 100 already, just hitting those. And then you can break these for the wood. And the wall is brick to finish your brick. I think this might actually give you wood too. If I, no, I missed. And boom. Wait, wait, wait. We still need... Ha! I preemptively gave my boom there. There's some brick. There we go. Okay, so that was a bit of a mess because I messed up a few times. But basically, you come down the stairs... Break this piece of crap that was right there. You can break this and then break this wall. And in here, you can get your money bags. Those should give you enough for the steel. But if not, you can hit the door a few times. And then any of these walls on right here gave brick. And then there's plenty of wood things. You can come over this way too and break a few, some of these if you need. But you should be able to do this within 60 seconds. So this is the first location. And here's the exact spot right there. All right, so now let's go to the other underground location. The storm is going to close in on me in just a second. But this is the house right here. So we're going to break in. And again, we want to go towards the basement. So we're going to break down to the basement. And that'll get us some wood. We can break a few of these things to get the rest of the wood. There's a post right there. So that gave us over 100. Now we can break a bit of steel. And the walls, again, give brick. This is a little more complex, but there's plenty of steel down here. Let's see, we're almost at almost at 100. More steel in here. So this is the lesser of the two options. And you can break these for the brick, and the storm's about to suck me up. Maybe I'll put a clock on just in case. So there's 100 of that. We need, like, one more thing for steel, and there we go. So of the two houses, this one's way worse. I think the first one that I showed you up here was easier, but this is the second location, which is also doable. Remember, you have 60 seconds to complete this. So you can complete this challenge in a variety of locations, but these are the ones I wanted to show you. My favorite one probably is Lazy Lagoon or the Snobby Shores ones. But all the other ones that I showed you worked, plus there's plenty of places on the map you can do this. If you find a better spot than any of these, let us know in the comments and you can help a fellow challenge seeker out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.